What's up guys, this is Josh here. Are you sick and tired of paying these high costs for satellite and cable? I ran across this cool device here and I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond and they are clearing that you will get a lot of different channels and great quality as well. And they're actually saying, premium HD, high definition. So today we're going to go on and unpack this and we're going to see, is it worth the money and will it actually save you money? But before we get started, if you like and appreciate these quick video updates, be sure that you obliterate that like button. And if you're not already a part of the viewing community here and you're looking for ways that you can save, make money, and you're interested in all things related to your finances, go ahead and click the red subscribe button and until it turns gray and that way you don't miss anything. And have I told you that today you can get free stock with Robinhood. The only thing that you have to do is link your account with Robinhood and they will send you out some free stock. And I have a link down in the description box below. So let's go on and get right to this. It's saying in small print here that results may vary depending on distance to the broadcasting tower also interference such as mountains, tall buildings, and trees. However, I'm about 30 minutes outside of Atlanta, so there's probably a lot more broadcasting stations around here than other places. So your location is key to making sure that you get high quality television, I guess, because I never used it before. I'm sharing this moment with you. So I have my scissors back here, and I'm gonna go on and cut it open. And it's in 4K ready. So they don't have anything that you could just like unzip and take it out. So I'm taking my handy dandy scissors here and we're just gonna go on and open this real quick. Uh oh, cutting some of the paper. Oh, it's come with directions and yeah, look there, I start cutting the directions. Uh, so whenever you open this, make sure that you're being a little bit more careful than I am right now. Ah. Okay, and it kind of reminds you of one of those old timey antlers or something. I forgot what the rabbit ears. All right, so it's a little tiny device and it comes with directions. So I'm going to go on and hit pause right now, go through some of the directions, then I will be back with you. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're connecting the antenna and it's saying that you just pretty much take it just like an old timey antenna and we're just going to screw it right into the back of the TV. And it did come with about six feet of cord. But on the back of here, uh, it came with some double-sided tape. So I guess if you would put it on your TV, that you really can't move it around as much. Now that we have the device plugged in, we're gonna go on and run an auto search on the channels to see how many channels and how good the quality is of the channels that we pick up. And reading the directions, it looked like it picks up about 35 miles in range. And considering that I'm about 30, miles outside of Atlanta. Hopefully I should be picking up something, but remember it is dependent on your location. So let's go on to see the quality of this thing and if I'm actually going to get some good channels here. All right, everyone, I did have to go on and change the televisions because I could not find the remote to the other one. And let's just see how many channels that we can get to come in. So right now we're already at 8% and no digital, no analog. However, it may still be coming. So let me just go on and zoom in on the progress that we have here. Uh, so still 11%, no analog, no digital. And I have the device right there on the top. And the window is really just right there. So we are talking about four feet probably from the window. We're at 20%, nothing yet has registered. It's saying with this particular device, cable line cut out during a storm. It says with Clear TV, you can still work even if your cable is out, that you can bypass cable and satellite with crystal clear HD broadcasting show for free. And there's no contracts, no monthly fees or no price heights. But it looks like right now we're getting seven digital stations. And I'm not sure exactly what those stations are just of yet, but hey, 
That might be something good. All right, so we're doing a check-in right at around 80% with 38 channels so far. At first it was moving a little slow, but we are picking up with some channels here and we're almost done and we can see the clarity of some of these pictures that we have. All right, so as you can see right now, uh, I'm going through some of the stations that I have here. And as of right now, it's coming in pretty decent, uh, especially for $10. It looked like it was about 38 channels uh, there. I'm not getting any glitching. It's clear pictures coming through. And like we're getting like TBN. I saw some CBS. This is the Hillsong channel. Okay, now you do see there is a little bit of HD glitching on this particular channel. And this is Smile. And we're looking at just a little bit of glitching, but it's nothing really major here, especially when you're talking about 10 bucks. All right, that was some Spanish station, so you are getting some multi-language going on here. Uh, so just flipping through the station so you'll see the type of quality that we're really getting here on this television. And I can honestly say for such a small device that I'm looking at, it's kind of powerful and that's just my personal opinion but again like i said it's all based off of your location too i'm in a larger metropolis area however if you were a lower populated area you may not get as good of a picture but for me for ten dollars i'm not complaining here most of the channels except one or two were glitching and if you can see that the quality is good, the picture is clear. Well, there you have it for $10. I really feel that it's not a bad device for the money because however you are getting about 40 channels for free and a majority of those came through with no problems, no glitching. So tell me in the comment section below, have you used Clear TV? Are you considering getting Clear TV? And remember your location is key. Let me know down below, like what are your thoughts about this particular device? For more ways to save money, click the top video over there and for saving money products click the other video subscribe right here and that way you don't miss anything and i will see you in the next video